Today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to photograph room decor, just like I did last night. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I am George Kushler, owner of GK Photography here in New Orleans, and this is Focus with GK. Um, my new format is finally here, man. February 2020 is here, and let me show you this real quick. I finally created a format, and I tell you what, if you're like me, it's so hard for me to figure things out just thinking about them, and I'm a visual learner, I'm a visual educator and motivator, and I, and I had to figure this out, how can I do this? So putting it on paper really makes a difference. So if you are interested in what my format is, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be happy to post a PDF of what this page is. When I walk into a room and I'm getting paid to photograph the tables, the decor, the way the room looks, the way it's lit, you know, these designers that are creating this lighting on the walls and the tables and how the band is gonna look on stage, all of those things are what you need to capture in your image. And me personally, I always, always, always go straight up, it is what it is, let's capture the best angles. Meaning, no extra flash, no extra lighting, she, she or he created this mood of the room for this commercial company, like say it's Microsoft, say it's CNN came in for a seminar and this was their party on the first night. Well, this room was spent a lot of hours, time and money on design, the aesthetics and, you know, branding, coordination with colors, like you name it. It's not your job to make it more different. It's your job to capture it exactly as it is. The first thing I do is I pay attention to what the whole room is. I do a quick walk around the room, honestly, so I can see a 360 degree angle of the room. And then I walk out the door that they're all gonna be entering the room with. And that is my vision. So this image right here was that entrance when you first walked into the room. Now, you can't look at this video and think you're gonna get some settings on your camera out of me and they're gonna to apply to you all the time. They won't. This is completely manual photography that you are in control and you need to have the knowledge of why you're doing certain things. So, I have a pro tip for you though. A lot of times I'm in a room and there's still help from the hotel putting forks and knives down on the table. Um, it just seems like you never, as soon as you put that camera down and you're like, I'm ready to get some pictures here, people start walking in the room. Sometimes it's, it's the, the boss walking the client through and you're like, you've got to be kidding me. And of course, of course, everything is about time. We only have 15 minutes sometimes to get the entire room photographed when it is 100% ready to be viewed. And that is a huge problem when people are walking in the room. So my pro tip for you is long exposure on your tripod, okay? Hear me out. When you're photographing with ambient light, okay? You're on the tripod. I know everybody likes their 1.4 lens, but when you're photographing a room of this size, the best thing for you to do is to photograph at a small f-stop and drag your shutter for the light, meaning a very small eye on the camera. It requires more light to come in, which requires a longer exposure. If people are walking, as long as they're walking, they have to be moving, okay? If they're just walking like this, 
they're not holding still long enough to make an imprint on the image. Therefore, all of the ambient light burns onto your film, as we say, but in this case, it's your digital camera. And if they're walking just fast enough to where the reflection of ambient light to them, to me, to the camera, is not enough to be exposed, you don't see them. So believe it or not, here's an image or two of people actually walking around in the room. And the only people you can see in there, some silhouettes, they were holding still. They were holding still, putting forks up in the background. Maybe they were talking to somebody. But people that were actually walking, they're gone. You're welcome. My go-to gear for this job was my Fuji X-T3 and the 16mm 1.4 did not photograph at 1.4. That lens is just a beautiful lens, man. It creates sharp images. What I like about it so much is that it's not too wide to bend the walls. That is my go-to choice of gear. I have been using the Fuji X-T3 since February of 2019. And my Canon 5D Mark III, while I you know, love Canon, it's been in the bag as my backup and I have not needed it for anything yet. And if you've been on my channel for a little while, you know that I do many different kinds of things in my business. And I'm talking from billboards to bus decals, to weddings, to babies, like you name it, I do it, man. Food photography for the Marriott Hotel, personal private restaurants. This camera works. And the whole mantra behind this channel is that I just wanna motivate you to use the equipment you have and just photograph it correctly. Understand the whys and the hows and you'll be fine, man. It is not a brand channel. Even though Fuji, it would be great if you'd throw me some bones or some gear to review. You know what I mean? <laughs> I really do love this system. Um, just to go off course for two seconds is the one selling point that is highly overlooked with Fuji is that it updates its firmware um, often, by the way. So something that I thought was fine, I thought the focus on the eyes were fine. The new firmware is ridiculous. It, it is better and stronger than what it was and I thought it was fine before. So I cannot be happier with my baby. So look, I would appreciate it if you want to get any of the same gear that I have. I have links below. They are some quick links to my associate Amazon page. And all that means, if you don't understand what that means, is by clicking that link, you're gonna go to Amazon directly to that lens that we're talking about, the 16 mm 1.4. And if you do make a purchase after you're on Amazon, I get a big whopping two or $3 from your sale. Um, Everything is help and supporting me and the channel and what I'm trying to do here for you. Thank you. That's all I can say is thank you. We love community here on Focus with GK. So we have a Facebook group also called Focus with GK and I like you to go join over there, but be involved, you know? I like seeing you guys and girls post some images. We can talk about it. Sometimes we're just showing off a cool shot. This is not about the awards ceremony at Professional Photographers of America. That's not what I want this Facebook group to be about. I want it to be about me and my other subscribers helping each other stay inspired. And then if you need information, we're here to give it to you. But nobody is here to critique you and tear you down. You won't be in the group if you do that. So if you're like me, I am constantly looking for inspiration, whether it's visual images that I need some nudge or a push on, sometimes it's business, sometimes it's life matters. So my inspiration for you today, honestly, is a little website called positivepops.com. He talks about everything from a financial way of looking at life, a personal way, a healthy way. He gives you things to do, some projects, and if you just go read it and apply one thing in your life, I guarantee you, you will see some improvement in a positive way, of course. <laughs> so go check out Jesse over at positivepops.com. So the last part of my new format is called Sub Love. This is where I wanna showcase my subscribers. 
Many of you are active in the comments and that means the world to me because if you're not active, you don't have a voice and nobody knows you're even here watching the video. You know, you can hit the like button all you want, but if you're not in the actual comments, nobody knows of you. And for those that have been here for a little while, I always go check out your YouTube channels just to see where, where you are, you know? And I'm very happy to say I have some amazing subscribers that are very involved. Um, they're kind people. Everybody's on the exact same page. So that being said, today's subscriber love goes out to my boy, Baron Gaillard. I'm gonna say it wrong. Baron Gaillard? I think it's Gaillard. It's two L's. Isn't two L's in Spanish a Y? Gaillard. Baron, you gotta, you gotta help me out here, brother. Anyway, Baron has a, re a review channel as well. But his reviews are comically funny. He knows how to keep you interested. And I personally love his reviews. In this video, I'm going to tell you four reasons why I will not be buying the Sony A6600, but it might still be the right camera for you. Let's find out, yeah. Baron, I appreciate you, brother, for being here. We do need to collaborate soon. And absolutely, it needs to be comical. <laughs> <laughs> so look, do me a big one and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that um, bell of notifications because apparently if you don't, you don't always know when I'm posting a video. And uh, I just want you to stay focused on your dreams, okay? It's not an easy thing to do, which is why we're gonna do it together right here. Right, you guys? GK out. Peace.